a really quick video on reference angles. Let theta be a non-quadrantal angle in standard position. The reference angle for theta is the acute angle or reference angle. This is the notation for reference angle. And to make it prettier, I guess it would look like that, right? Reference angle that the terminal side of theta makes with the, stop with me, please stay with me, x-axis. It's crucial. So from there, it gets pretty easy, I think. And first off, I guess, to, in, in a word, the reason that we want to do this at all is because if, as you're learning the unit circle, you'll find out, like, if you were to look at, at pi force and look at the sine and cosine values, mm -hmm. and then look at 3 pi force, and look at the, co sine and, the cosine and sine values, they have great similarities. So knowing one quarter of the unit circle, if you understand reference angle, will really, really help you to memorize the unit circle. I cannot overemphasize this. I hear a lot of people, they're, they're teaching reference angles with no anticipation of how you'd ever use them, but they are really, really helpful to you, especially next year in, in Calculus 1. So here we go. Here's, here's the four-quadrant plane, right, the Cartesian plane. And we start off with the first possibility. The first possibility is that we have our angle theta, and here's theta. And we want the reference angle for this. And what I'm saying to you is, here's the terminal angle here. And it says here, with the x-axis. So reference theta in quadrant 1. So we're going to just buy quadrants. So in quadrant 1, theta is its own reference angle, okay? When we get to quadrant two, it gets different, doesn't it? So here's the four quadrant plane, the Cartesian plane. And we say here's, right, we have our angle in standard position, which means the vertex is at the origin, and that the initial ray is on the x-axis. And if it opens up into quadrant two, then theta is this angle, isn't it? So here's theta. <laughs> This is theta. So if this is theta, going back to the definition of what a reference angle is, it's the acute angle that the terminal side of theta makes with the x-axis. So look, it's pretty easy to see, I think, and this is the way I'm going to illustrate it to you if you don't mind. I'm going to illustrate it this way, just by pretending I'm making another angle and saying here's the terminal, right, here's the terminal ray of theta, and here's the x-axis. So hopefully you can see that this is reference theta. Right, this is reference theta right here. So this is the reference angle right here. So how would you find that? Well, you can see it's the difference between 180 degrees, or pi, and your angle. So to find it, so you find the reference angle by pi minus theta, or we're intrigued, but if you're using degrees, it would be 180 degrees minus theta degrees, right? Theta in degrees, all right? And I think that's, that's obvious, right? If you take this whole thing, this, and you subtract out this, you end up with this reference angle. And what I'm saying to you, if, if this was 135, and the, so, so its reference angle would be 180 minus 135, you'd get 45 degrees. Or you would get pi minus 3 pi force, if this is in radians, and pi this is the same as 4 pi force, isn't it? So you'd get pi force. And what I'd like you to do, if you don't mind, is go and look at the similarities. What are the similarities between 135 degrees and 45 degrees on the unit circle as far as their cosine and sine values go. And if you can figure that out, it gets really, really good and helpful. All right, let's move on, if you don't mind. So here's our Cartesian plane. We're going to put a, our new angle in, and that angle will be this one. It's going to open up into quadrant three, so it's going to open up like this. It's going to open up into quadrant three. So here's theta. So theta is this. So now we have to go back to the definition since the definition is from the terminal ray the terminal side and the x-axis so it's a little bit strange looking but it's this isn't it this is our reference angle right here right this angle right here this is reference theta 
And the question is, how do you get that? Well, if you look at this the other way around, this, you're going to take theta, you're going to take your initial, you're going to take this theta, take theta, you're going to take, right? So find the reference angle by theta minus pi. And that's if you're using radians. And we're using radians a lot. I can't beat you guys enough about that. Or if you're not using that, then it would be theta minus 180 degrees. All right? So hopefully this is making really good sense to you. Let's just do the last one because there are only four quadrants, right? And let's have our angle do this. Here's our, init, right, we're in standard position. And we're going to open up all the way to, I don't know, somewhere in here. doesn't have to be exactly here, but somewhere here. And say this is theta because we opened this way, all right? So this is theta here. I don't know where you want me to put it. Theta is here. So where's the reference angle? Well, the easiest way to, to visualize where the reference angle is is to go back to the definition. It says start at the terminal side of your theta and go to the x-axis. So hopefully you can see this is the reference angle. So that's the reference angle right there. And how would you determine that? Well, you would determine that by saying 2 pi, all the way around the circle, minus your theta would give you your reference angle. And similarly, if you were using degrees, 360 degrees minus theta degrees. All right? Okay, is there anything else I really, really wanted you to know about this? I don't think that, that there is. Um, what I would like to go back to you and say is this, uh, that first off, make sure if you mean degrees, you write degrees. And the same here. But make sure, one, that you memorize this with the particular emphasis on its the terminal side and x-axis. And remember that the reason, the reason that you care about reference angle is because it, becomes, it makes it much, much, much easier to deal with the unit circle. And if you're in trig, if you're just starting, let me tell you that knowing the unit circle well is the key to victory. So, okay, I hope this has been helpful. Please like my video and subscribe, please.